Hey, here's a video to demonstrate the idea I had for how to make a whole bunch of nodes act like one node. So what I did was I created created a model, custom model. You look at it, it's got 25 separate nodes in here, just in a kind of an oval shape. And let's see, nothing special about it. I started the first one, channel one. And so then you get one, two, three, four, and five. There's five copies of it. So all of those go into this bobbles group, model group. And then that one I have at minimal grid for layout mode. <clears throat> and then I made a I made a copy that's exactly the same. So this is the exact same model. I overlaid the channels so that the little the little model inside the bigger model is going to be the single node representation, but it's still going to contain all 25 nodes. But what I did was I went down to width and height and made them zero. And so that's what those five dots are in the center of each one of those. And then I made a bobble single group. And I made it grid as per preview so that each dot, since it's in the same spot, is going to sample into the exact same pixel. And then when I go over to the sequencer, if I click on a bars effect, that is, <coughs> let, me, let me make the uh, preview larger here. So you can see as the bars effect lights up, those things, all those pixels light up together as if they're one unit. And then you click on the bars effect in that model, and then they react like, like you would expect. So I, I think that gives a good way to make each pixel node react as single nodes. You just have to pick which model you want to put your effect on for how you want it to react. Anyways, that was my idea.